All right, YouTube. This is Nismo Spoolin, your friend, coming out with something a little bit different. I'm not playing games. I haven't been playing games this past couple of weeks because I've been out of the country. I'm in, I'm in England, in Dunstable. And behind me here is the Priory Church. It's just one of the oldest buildings in Dunstable. It was founded in 1100, 1138. So it's a really freaking old building. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys what I'm doing here and uh, when I'll be back. So my cousin had a wedding up in Manchester, so I came over here to see that. And my granddad hasn't been doing so well. So I've come to see my grandfather and, and kind of like come back to my roots and where I'm from. So I'll show you guys around a little bit and give you guys a little video tour of what's around here and I'll be back in two weeks. Hope you enjoy my vlog. So this is the Priory Church in Dunstable, England. All throughout growing up this building was just a stone's throw away from my home and I visited it regularly. Whether it was for school trips or to explore the grounds. When I was a child I knew the building was old but it was difficult for me to put in perspective what that actually meant. This building is still very important to people who live here for multiple reasons and it's used for church gatherings, weddings, community meetings, and stuff like that. The Priory Church was founded in 1132. This building is pushing a thousand years old and is still standing as strong as the day it was built. And what makes this building so important is not only is it old and a church, but it's one of the 12 places King Edward sought refuge while transporting his wife Queen Eleanor from Scotland to London after her death in 1290. Upon her death, King Edward promised to bring her body to the Westminster Abbey in London. And so he did, by horse and carriage, and everywhere the king stayed to rest, he erected what was known as an Eleanor's Cross. Which can still be found in Dunstable today, but it's been moved from its original location outside of the church, and is now in the centre of Dunstable in respect to the king's journey across England. I feel like people, religious or not, should respect the kind of history that this building holds, and let the echoes of the past ring out in their mind whenever they visit these places. We as a society often turn up our nose at hundreds or thousands of years of history that's happened right under our feet. And this building is a beautiful reminder of how well we as humans really are.